Not only are most day-to-day -to -day functions continuous, so are functions built out of continuous functions. Although there is an exception to that that we'll get to, the sum of two continuous functions is continuous. That is to say, if two functions are continuous at the same point, so is their sum. So as an example of that, um, h of x equals x squared plus e to the x. Well, x squared is a polynomial. e to the x is an exponential function. Those are both continuous on the entire real number line. So their sum is continuous on the entire real number line. Subtraction, similarly, in fact, let me just turn this plus into a plus or minus sign. Multiplication also has this property. Keeping with these two functions, x squared is continuous everywhere, e to the x is continuous everywhere, so x squared time is e to the x is continuous everywhere. Division is where things take a little turn for the worse. And we saw this with the limit laws as well where we have a restriction that we didn't have for addition, subtraction, and multiplication, we cannot divide by zero. So if we're going to talk about continuity at C, and we're going to divide by G of X, G of C needs to not to be zero. So going back to the functions I've been looking at, f of x equals e to the x. This is continuous at c equals zero, and g of x equals x squared is also continuous at c equals zero, but e to the x divided by x squared is not continuous at c equals zero. If you took zero and stuck it in here, you'd get a division by zero error. So those are the 
arithmetic combinations. Three of them are very nice. The fourth division is a little messier.